This is a tutorial about how to install custom content into your Sims 3 games. So basically there's two types of custom content. There's .package files and Sims 3 packs. So the first part we're going to talk about Sims 3 packs. Now Sims 3 packs are what the game is created to handle. Okay, so they're what EA uses and they're what you can get um, from the EA store. Now a Sims 3 pack is available from the Sims website and that is www.thesims3.com and um, there's two places on the Sims 3 website where you can get custom content. One is their store. Now you can get these things called sim points and you pay for them a thousand sim points of about ten dollars just to let you know. And they have all kind of things. They have clothing, um, they have hair, uh, they have all kind of stuff. So um, the great thing about the store is that you know you rarely will have any problems with store content the number one drawback is that it costs money now there's plenty of free custom content out there um, one way you can get it is the exchange the exchange has lots of stuff that people have made and um, they make sims they make houses they make clothing patterns and this is all available for you now um, one warning is that downloading from the exchange can't be risky because you don't know what the other person has attached to their sim now it could be something that will make your game run slow it could be something that messes up gameplay you never know so I stick to certain people um, for example, this is a house by Bluebell Flora. Her stuff is always really well made. She doesn't have um, custom content usually, and I trust her a lot. So, it, it, say I found this house from her, and I wanted to put this house into my game. So, what I do is click this button here, and I say add to game. Now, just to let you know, this does have store content, expansion packs, stuff packs, and you need to update your game to have the stuff. So for example, I want to figure out what's in here. Here's a list of all the store content that she has in this site. So in order to add this to my game, I just click add to game, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up the launcher, and the launcher is actually going to download that lot for me. Now it just shows me that I'm missing some store content or an expansion pack that this house contains. And that's fine because it's not going to necessarily mess up your game or make it so you can't use the lot. Sometimes it does, for the most part it won't. So then I click what I just downloaded from the exchange and I click install. And what it's going to do is it's going to install it into my game. Now this is an extra step that you need to take because just downloading the content is not going to put it in your game. You have to make sure you install it. Now while that's working, uh, I want to show you there are other options out there to install custom content in Sims 3 packs. Here's just an example, LorandiaSims3.com. And you can get clothing for males and females you can get um, all kind of accessories from her and it's a pretty good site and again it is all free um, so that's a good option okay um, now what the launcher is doing right now is it's opening a secondary window because it's actually installing custom content and this brings me to one of the number one drawbacks of a Sims 3 pack is that it has to use the launcher to install the content. Now, the launcher is slow, sometimes it'll crash on you, and a lot of times it's hard to figure out what's installed in your game so you can easily remove it. Um, because it 
relies on these very tiny little thumbnails and sometimes they're hard to see. Um, and also sometimes the thumbnail doesn't exactly picture the object. So once it's done installing through the launcher, you just click OK and it says success so everything went in just fine. Now we have to wait for the launcher to basically process what we installed and then we can check on it. Okay. So I can show you. So in addition to Bluebell, another person who I really like their stuff. Um, this is Bluebell's page. And if you want to look at more stuff from her, you just go to my studio and it'll show you more of her houses. Okay. Um, so another person who stuff that is really good, I have so many, is this person Curtis Paradise. And another person on the exchange who has really good houses that are well made is um, Romaji One. And all these people use CC free, so they're not gonna put stuff into your game that's going to mess it up and I just recommend those people because I know them and I've tried them before and I have their stuff in my game so now that we downloaded this and installed it we look in our installed content tab and this is where say for example I change my mind and I want to un uninstall something that's in my game so basically I would go and select the item that's installed. Let's see if I can find... This is the lot I just installed and I would uninstall it and I'd select OK and then it would just uninstall it for me. Okay, one thing to note is uninstalling the content or installing it that works through the launcher but one thing you want to know is that the content that you download say from the exchange I can always change my mind later I go in documents electronic arts the sims 3 downloads and the lot that I just downloaded is right here so I can always install it later and if I just double click on this it'll pop up the launcher and it'll install it again for me so that's really convenient okay even though Sims 3 packs are made for the game and they tend to run a little bit quicker they're not my preferred method of getting custom content into my game. I actually really prefer using something called a package file. Now, um, a package file is more complicated to set up though. So, the number one website you're going to want is modthesims.info. They have forums, they are more than willing to help you, and it just makes life a lot easier when you're a beginner. So if you go to their help page, um, gain help installing Sim 3 package files set up, uh, basically they give you all the tools you need to set up for package files. And you need to make sure that you're at patch 1.12 and above in your base game. I think the most current patch is 1.25, so if your game is up to date, you're totally okay and then you want to click download and this is download for the framework setup and this is just to set you up so that you can use package files in your game so you download this file <coughs> and it, it doesn't take very long and um, one tip for you is to basically open the containing file folder and because I'm really lazy I usually 
just extract here and it'll just extract. That just says basically that I already have this because of course I already put it in my game. And so what you do with this mods folder is you open up your documents and you open that up Electronic Arts The Sims 3 and then you, what you do is you just go and you move it on over here okay into this folder since I already have it I'm not gonna do that for you again but what it does is it creates a folder here now this folder here contains overrides packages and a resource now the packages are it, all the custom content that you have and um, I have all kind of stuff hair cars and let me just show you exactly how you put these items into your game so I found this really cool it's Santa sleigh it's it does work and it's good custom content and um, you can see sims your sims will actually write in it so it's pretty fun so then you click on the downloads tab to download it but what I usually do is I check out the com comments and I just make sure it seems to be working well for everyone um, and I know this works because I've used it in my game before so it works okay so they click the download button and it'll download Okay, so here's the file that I just downloaded, okay? So then I just extract it here. And... Here it is, and you can see it says it's a package file. So, the really wonderful thing about this is I can change the name of this file if I want and it's just fine you can't do that what is Sims 3 pack and then I can just to put in my game it's so easy and quick you just basically drag and drop it okay so then here it is and it'll work fine in my game if I want to take it out of my game I just take it out of that folder But I do love Santa Slay. So, um, package files, the thing that I love about them is that they're just so easy to put in and take out and so easy to organize if I need to rename stuff or create folders in here. Like, say, I want to have a folder that's just for vehicles and cars. That's fine. I can do that. And then I can just move Santa sleigh and this Shelby Cobra in there. And they'll still work perfectly fine in the game. Okay. Come on. I have a lot of CC. <laughs> As you can see, okay, there you go. Um, and so basically the only drawback really to the dot .package files is it can create a lag if you have a lot of custom content in there because uh, basically it's, it's not, the game is not made to handle these files. It's basically they created um, a program to help your game run these files. But it takes a lot of CC to slow your game down. And also there can be conflicts with different sorts of these files. But I'll go through how to basically prevent those conflicts from happening. And also to clean your CC and make sure it'll work better for you. Um, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. I know when I first wanted to put custom content in my game, I was really clueless about all this. So... Um, have fun and I hope you enjoy.